What is going on, guys? Welcome to Stock Talk with Nico Criticos. It's been a while since we've done an episode, but today we're going to be looking at a very interesting stock that I came across recently, and that is ticker EVVTY. So the leave is only traded as an over-the-counter stock, which means on some brokerage sites like Robinhood, you cannot trade it. But if you have other sites like uh, Fidelity, then you can trade it. So I bought about 10 shares of this, I believe, a couple of days ago. Um, and that was at about $94 a share, I want to say. So what if we, if we read this company's profile, we're going to see Evolution AB develops, produces, markets, and licenses, live casino and slot solutions to gaming operators, primarily in Europe and the U.S., the company runs the game from a casino gaming table, which is streamed in real time, and, and end users make betting decisions on their devices. Its portfolio of table games includes all these different games, and they were founded in 2006 and is headquartered in Sweden. So I'm not buying this stock just because I'm super bullish on the casino industry or something or the online casino industry. It's really because I'm impressed with their with this company's performance and with their financials. So I believe the most important thing to look at is what is the company's um, track record for net income. And if we look at this one, we could see that let's here, let's look at it on a year to year basis, because that's probably better. If we look at that, then what we're going to see is over the last 10 years, this company has averaged. 65% net income growth every single year, which is quite impressive. If we go back to 2012, they were making $8 million of profit. Last year, they did over a billion dollars of profit. So this company has had tremendous growth. And I think it's pretty impressive that for the last 12 years, they've managed to put up consistent growth every single year. So that's a good sign. Then we go to if you check free cash flow and revenue, it's roughly the same thing. The free cash flow here is actually up 76% per year on average. So it's actually better than net income. Um, this is it adjusted for the share, the uh, issuing of shares, which is also not a problem here. If we look at the performance of the stock chart over the last 10 years, we can see it peaked in er, what May of 2021 at $200 a share. And today the stock is about a half of that. But this stock started off as only a $6 stock. And you can see it's been in this $100 range now for a while, you know, going back to even January of 2021, when it first hit $100, it's returned back to this point several times. So that's also a pretty good sign, I would say. I don't want to say it's a good sign that it's coming down, but it's a good, it means it's a, it's a healthy way to for the stock to grow. And it means that it's a good thing in the way that their net income is tremendously higher than it was in past years, but the stock price, the valuation is still the same. So the valuation hit this in early 2021, 2022, and 2023, right? Well, if we look at these last four years of net income, once again, they were doing about a quarter of the net income that they did last year in 2020. So the 20, 2020 into 2021, I mean, there was a huge jump here from 284 million to 600 million. And that could be one reason why we see that the valuation or the, I shouldn't say the valuation, the PE ratio, the multiple, that multiple is coming down. It could be because investors think they're not going to grow as fast, which is a possibility. Um, you know, if we look at the last, I mean, it's hard to say that though, because okay, the last 10 years, they've averaged 65% growth. The last two years has only been 33%. But a two-year span is, a, is is pretty much too short of a time span. So even in the last five years, it's still it's strong. It's 66% per year. So I don't see anything wrong there. And that's why that valuation looks so attractive. If we look at the Ford PE now, it's a 14. And over the last, what, year, let's say last year, it's traded anywhere from a 15 all the way up to a 23. And then here's the chart for the PE ratio the last couple of years. You can see in 2021, it was trading at 74 times. And I mean, that kind of goes back to what I was saying was they were doing way less income back then. And, the, and the, it was still trading at $100 share price. And today it's only at 17 times because they're doing a billion dollars. They're doing nearly four times as much net income. And the stock is still at 100 bucks a share. So 
trade a stock trading at 17 times earnings that is growing at 65% per year is nearly impossible to find. If you look at other stocks, like whether you find, uh, you know, in the past, you could go look at uh, Amazon or Tesla or Palantir and stuff. They, they're going to trade at 50, 60, 70, 80 times earnings, not 17 times earnings. So that's what is so impressive here. If we look at, let's see what analysts have them doing for future. Um, okay, so once again, since the stock is not too much in the mainstream, there is no future projections here. They have revenue estimates. So 15, so I get they are expecting it to slow. 15% this year of growth and then 11% next year. That would make more sense. Um, but I mean, again, I, I put more, I would put more priority and weight on what they've are, have already proven. So they've already proven that they have grown their net income consistently at a very large clip for over a decade now. So just because the analysts have them doing only 10 to 15% growth in the next year or two, it doesn't mean that's going to happen. It doesn't mean it's going to stay that way. And I, I don't think that's a reason for the stock to get beaten down too much. Um, then here's the other thing I really like. So that would, let's see, return on invested capital. For a while, it was 55%, which also is nearly impossible to find. It's not very, you know, it was up to 70% at their, in, in 2012. It's almost impossible to find companies that put up these numbers. Now, during 2020, it dropped to 10%. But the good news is that, they have shown improvement consistently every year. So they it dropped to 10. Now we're back to 26%. 26% is is a super is very strong. That's most companies have trouble keeping a 26% uh, ROI. So 26% is strong. If this number keeps going and they can get it back up to 50%, then fantastic. But even in the 25, 30% range, that's still phenomenal. Profit margins of 60%. That's also outstanding. The share count here, let's see. So it's growing at 2% per year, 3% per year. That's not a big deal, especially for a, a, a younger growing company. There's That's totally uh, normal and understandable. Cash and debt, super healthy cash of $981 million, only $294,000 of, is that right? $294,000, yeah, $294,000 of debt. Um, so super strong ratios there. What else do we have? Then I pulled up their their investor presentation. There's not too much that I'd like to point out here besides maybe they've launched. Let's see. I mean, I mean, here's some pictures and and stats of the company and different things. There they 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 acquired Galaxy Gaming. Um, but other than that, I mean, I just I I'm I'm willing to take a chance with this one because I like what I see as far as. Their profitability and ROI is super strong, and their their net income and revenue and free cash flow is it's consistently grown year over year. And they 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 just went from, you know, 150 million, 284 million, 600 million, 843, and then a billion. So I guess I, I guess it is slowly it's it's not growing as fast as they were in these earlier years. But I don't know if I want to say that this is you know the end all be all for them. And even if, you know, let's say they only grow at 10 or 15%, I would say I can't imagine the stock trading at 10 times earnings or something like that. That 10 times earnings does not happen uh, very often, especially for a company that has super high profitability. So, you know, let's say they do, okay. So let's say they do, I don't know, 1.2 billion in 2024. And then 2025, they do, 1.4, 1.5 billion. Okay, so not they're not growing at 60% anymore. Well, in that case, if they're doing, let's say they, they let's say they do 1.5 billion dollars of net income in uh, for next year. What? Let's see. What's the market cap on this company right now? Market cap of 20 billion dollars. So if they do 1.5 billion, I would say that's easily a $30 billion, easily, con conservatively speaking, a $30 billion company next year, which would imply, let's see, if you add 10 billion, that's a 50% uh, increase in the in the company's value. So I would say 50%, I could easily see the stock being $150 by the end of next year. And let's say in a year from now, it's probably 150 bucks. And, you know, it's already earlier this year, it was at 135 
it's gone a lot higher than that, you know, years ago. That's probably because they were growing so fast. Um, but I just feel I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm comfortable buying a giant position in this. Um, but I definitely am, you know, I'm starting with 10 shares and we're going to see what happens. And if the stock goes down to 85 or 80 or something like that, then I'll, I'll buy more. Um, but right now I like what I see. And I think this, this company is trading and here's the other thing. They also pay a 3% dividend. So that's, that's also a plus, but I'm going to say, I like what I see with this. I like I love, I love seeing the consistency with the net income. Um, even if they have a bad year the next year or two, and it doesn't grow as much, they only grow 10 or 15%. Who's to say they can't get back up to 30% or 40% growth, um, especially if they're acquiring other companies. And the fact that they are an online casino game company, that's going to, you know, that that kind of shows why their profitability is able to be 60%. So or their profit margin 60%. So I, I can easily see this being $150 stock in about a year from now, but we will see what happens. Let me know what you guys think uh, down below in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.